Yeah, this is the raw truth coming back with part two. And you know, the, the finish it off, it says, um, yeah, I'm going to get back to the knee deeper issue, issue here because, you know, the hypocrisy of it that, that I see about it is black women don't take that same attitude towards you black men. See black, see black men. What you have to understand is, the black woman only think that the blood only is only for her. She think that the blood is only for her. It's not for you, because if it was for you, then why she's taking y'all the child support? And um, after I do this series, I got another series that's coming up right behind this. Because this is going to blow you, blow everyone away. And the propaganda and lies is going to be cut and destroyed. And this one, the black woman will not have a damn thing to say. Stay tuned. And I'm going to give you a hint in this video. It deals with the black man coming in number one and taking care of his kids. Alright, back, back to the subject. I digressed a little bit. I did. I gave you a spoiler, but back to the fucking point. That blood is not meant for you, black man. Or she wouldn't be taking you to court, like I said, for child support. The blood is not for you, black man. See, the blood cannot forgive you. That's why she will always remember something that you did five years five years ago. She'll still be complaining on how you stood her up when you were just late. You were fucking late, and she think that you stood her up, and she will be mad at you. You know, that blood's not for you because let's just say you go out there and, and, and you just got mad and you just push her and you just want to get, get out the house. Well, that blood is not for you. Notice the blood. She monopolized blood. She has made. She, see, you got to understand, black man. The black woman have made God. is Well, not made God. Think in their mind. Their stupid ass mind. The black woman think that God is their bitch. The black woman think that, you know, God is a simp. <laughs> that he's the king simp. That's what they're making God. They don't respect God at all. They don't love God at all. They can care less about God. You know how I know? I'm going to tell you how I know. No black woman come to me with scriptures. And she's quoting it. I already know she's going to quote it wrong. Why? Because she wants the Bible to conform to her. She doesn't want to conform to the Bible. Because like I said in so many videos, the Bible is against everything the black woman is. Everything the black woman is, and everything that the black woman has made herself to be, everything. And the Bible doesn't make excuses for black woman. Have we not understood Eve? Hmm? Have we not understand Eve? Eve made an excuse. Adam made an excuse too. Eve made an excuse but what the fuck happened to Eve? She got her ass judged too. So if God can judge the black woman in the Garden of Eden, black woman, what the fuck you think he ain't gonna judge you? Do you really think that? You black women are fucking delusional. Y'all in these two dollar whorehouses and you don't understand that these churches have done a disservice to you. Because you think this white man... That you think and believe in your heart that he's Christ got your back when he does it. Well, God blessed me with a house. All right, how'd you get that house? Section 8. Okay, how'd you, why, how did you wind up getting Section 8? You had children out of wedlock, so who gave you that Section 8, stupid? Because see, black woman, see, understand this, black man. I read the Bible, and it's the history of our history. It's black history, because the Bible was written by black people. The prophets was black. The Jews was black. The Hebrew Israelites are black. You know what I'm saying? They're black people. You look at it, even um, 
ancient ancient Israelite paintings, they're black people. Remember our song, Go Down Moses? Why do we sing that? Because we were the Israelites in captivity in Egypt. We sung the song, Swing Low, Sweet Chariots. And then the second verse go what? As I look over the Jordan, what do I see? The angels coming to take me home. Swing low, sweet chariot. When you look over the Jordan, you hit Jerusalem. So our ancestors were the same people in the Bible that we read about. And in that same Bible, because I read the Bible, the Bible clearly lets uh, let uh, the black woman know that there should be no whore of the daughters of Zion. So if there should be no whore, and you going out there and you're whoring around, then you ask it for repentance. Then you go right back or whoring around. Then you ask it for repentance. Then you go right back. Hey, the Bible says there's no more sacrifice because you're doing it willingly. Now, I can see that if you have problems in the area and you're trying to get it right, hey, there's grace and mercy in that. I know we all got problems and stuff like that, but see, black woman, what separates you from the person who's striving to get better is black woman, you don't fucking want to be better. You want to talk about everybody else's shit instead of looking at your shit. You want to sit up there and talk about how everybody did you wrong, but you refuse to look at how you're doing everybody else's wrong. How you treat your children. How you treat your man. How you treat your community. How you even treat your own damn self. Because this Christ that you think is fixed everything. And if that's the truth, how come you ain't fixed? That same media you use to bash us is the same media that you use to tell everybody how lonely you are. But yet, that's the same media you said you independent. God is not this simp you think that he is. God is, does not have your back. Go back to the Section 8. You having Section 8, you having Medicaid, you having um, um, food stamps and all of that because you had so many kids out of wedlock and now you think God is blessing you because I got food in my fridge. Thank you, God, for that. No. You know who gave you that? Remember, remember let me, let, you understand the Bible when, when Satan took Christ up in the mountains? What did Satan say? If you bow to me, I'll give you power over the kingdoms that I that were given to me. Black woman, you you bow to Satan. That's who's giving you this stuff. You bow to that same Satan that a black Christ, the black, the real man, the real Messiah, who is a black man, refused to bow to. You bow to them whenever you decide to call uh to call the cops on your man when he doesn't want to listen to you. When according to that Bible that you think that you know black woman, you should be listening to him and shutting your damn mouth. How about that? You bow to you bow to the, that same Satan that uh Christ he d never bowed to. When he said, when, when, whenever you went out there and took and joined feminism and left your man, you bowed to to the Satan and, and took money during the feminist movement to help get your man thrown out by using law enforcement. Understand, black woman, you weren't get, you're not blessed by God, and you're not these blessed women of God. If you want to be blessed of God, you're going to have to go buy the things that. God says for you to do. And you don't do that at all. But everybody have a problem but you. Everybody's bashing you, but you, you're the main one bashing everybody else. So, Roger Spice, he was correct about that. You know, when you thought Jesus was a white man, he let you get away with everything knee deep. Because that's who you secretly serve. That's who you secretly love. You love him so much. And it's not really a secret anymore. Because you write books on it. How to get a white man. Keep the black girl attitude at home. How to how to get a white man attracted to you black woman. Black woman. Wait for your prince. Your prince is coming. And there's always a white man. But you know why? Because this white Jesus does what the white man do in this society. And let you get away with having kids out of wedlock. Every time you have a child out of wedlock, it damages the community. You know why? Because that's another example of a child being born with no union, with no unity, no no union. And I'm saying unity of a union coming out of a ceremony. 
So you're damaging our community. And the more you damage our community, the more this wicked, and I repeat, wicked system rewards you. You go call your call, call the cops on a black man, and your reward is you the the cops become your belt to chastise them. So your reward is power. So you know, so you black woman love to put well, we got power, and the white man got power, but the white man got power wickedly, and when you join them, you're wicked, and you gonna and you want me to fucking believe. That you love God. Black woman, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Always claiming that you love God. Always claiming because it's white Jesus lets you get away with everything. To the fact that you 50 years old and even some 60 year old woman are nothing but whores. Retired whores because nobody wants your ass no more. Bitches with attitudes who haven't grown up. And it's a damn shame. I'm talking to women in their 50s. And it seems like I'm talking to a 5 year old. I got to constantly repeat myself. Because you black women don't have any good comprehensive skills. And don't hate me this shit. You just bashing black women. Let me repeat. Some of the things I say it in several of my videos, and I'm gonna say it in this video. I'm part of Women Against Feminism, WAF, that's on YouTube. And this group was started by a black woman who was a ratchet ass motherfucker. She had made a video on how ratchet she was and how she changed her life around, and she was in Chicago. She friended me two years ago, and I friended her back, and we've been going strong like crazy. She invited me to the community, and she was just sick and tired of the mess that black woman is going through. So I give my commentary on there. I look at the things that's going on there. I rebuke women harshly to come up there with bullshit. I have seen her rebuke women who, who come up there with bullshit, and several other women who come up there with bullshit, because she's all about have, telling black women or women of all races to be subject to your man. Shut up and, uh, and let your man leave. That's your king. So don't hand me that shit you bash your black woman. I got subscribers that are black women. So don't hand me that shit you bashing black woman. When I'm saying black women are fucking up. At least they are very smart enough and mature enough to know I ain't fucking talking about them. So go ahead and come with step to me with that bullshit. And I'll knock it off the fucking park like a grand slam. And the thing that gets me, that gets me about black women in these two dollar whorehouses you call churches, it made them so fucking selfish. They cannot see how selfish and how uh, and how non marriageable material they are. It's the black man who can't find a good woman, and it, it, it ain't the other way around. It was never the other way around. <laughs> Black woman want us to put up with garbage, but want us to be brand new. So yeah, black woman, as long as Christianity is around, black woman is going to flock to it. Because it keeps them comfortable in their wicked ass ways. It keeps them comfortable of destroying our community. And it keeps them com them comfortable because they feel that they don't need to answer to anybody but the white man. That's why, hence, what do they always say, black man? Whenever you go, whenever you try to tell these women, these black women, you know what to do. You ain't the boss, cause the boss is normally who white. So whenever she puts that in your face, you ain't the boss. What she's saying is you ain't the white man. When she says she's independent, it's independent of you. She needs the white man. Remember, they independent, but they got the white media on their side, so they think. 
I'm coming back with part three to finish this off. Peace.